Ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, hello and welcome back to X4. I'm Computer, and I haven't played this game in a bit, but just a few days ago, Egosoft released a new expansion, Kingdom End, which introduces, or reintroduces, I should say, the Borons, an aquatic race that we haven't seen since the X3 games, I believe. So it is a perfect time to jump back into a new game. And we're going to go with the Kingdom End storyline here. The connection that binds us as an interstellar community is fragile, even tenuous. Nothing has proved that more than the jump gate shutdown and the resultant turmoil. As the Alliance of the Word, we strive to strengthen the bond between the peoples inhabiting our galaxy. And you too shall do your part. Indeed I shall. Game start type guided, recommended for new players or those who want to dive straight into the storyline. These scenarios have an active story that gently introduces you to various gameplay features. And as far as the story goes, the latest series of gate activations has reconnected large parts of the network. But despite our scientific community's best effort, efforts, plural, many more systems remain separated. Thanks to limited communication with Kingdom End, we have been able to surmise that our scientists are not the only ones working on forcing a connection. And now, a dormant gate in Heretic's End is displaying signs of imminent activity. The inhabitants of the network are observing these proceedings with bated breath, hoping for a resurgence of their Boron allies. As part of the Alliance of the Word, Sorry, as part of the Alliance of the Words expedition, you have been granted a front row seat. We can change who we are here, but in doing so, we have to listen to that thing again. So let's not. Yes, uh, we start at Morningstar 3. We have a Discoverer and 5,000 credits to our name, but no property. We can later also play as a Boron, but we need to complete the Boron storyline first. So let's do that. And there. As the Commonwealth begins to regroup, to reconnect, the continuing isolation of our Boron allies is shrouded in mystery. Our only means of communication, the regular messenger drones through which we have just now received word from Kingdom End again. The Boron are thriving and seemingly investigating jump gate technology. We are now dispatching a research expedition to investigate further, and you have been accepted to join our endeavor. Sounds good. Entering system, Morning Star. Setting course for heretic scent. Affirmative. Some of you are new additions to our expedition. Others have been with us since we set out from Trinity Sanctum. As we approach our destination, allow me a moment for a brief introduction. I, Numankaret, welcome you in my capacity as commanding officer of this expedition. In our complacency, we treated the gates as an eternal gift from a higher power. We did not make sufficient effort to understand the technology. This is how the galaxy has found itself in this predicament. The Alliance of the Word is a collective of scholars and scientists, intent on advancing understanding through cooperation. Word reached us from the Boron of Kingdom End some months ago, via the Messenger Drone Network. It seems they may be making some headway with their gate technology experimentation. Sounds good. At first, I will admit, we dismissed the notion. So many scientists have tried and failed to interact with the gate network. But now, the dormant gate at Heretic's End is showing infrequent but undeniable signs of activity. 
This may or may not be related to the Boron experiments, but the timings coincide too starkly to ignore. If the Boron have truly succeeded in manipulating the jump gate, the consequences are beyond significant. But let us not get ahead of ourselves. This expedition was tasked with resolving the many unknowns of this situation. We could be reuniting with our Boron brethren. Equally, we could find ourselves welcoming a fleet of Xenon destroyers. Everybody, stay alert! Time for one final equipment calibration. We have to make sure that everything is in order. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. And rude. Whoa. All right. Weird. Anyway, we are going to our Discoverer Vanguard. All right, crew quarters. Wait. Have they fixed stuff like that now? Perhaps your attention is best focused on the task at hand. Why do you not scout ahead? All right. Yep. Sure. 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 I guess I have a job to do. Hello. Why you are a beauty. Discoverer Vanguard. Sounds like you're being fired upon, but I don't think that's the case. We are just gonna undock. Shift one to travel. Activate travel mode. Sounds like a plan. Gotta turn off my weapons just for the moment. We can also in go here and stop travel mode if we want. Not really into that. So everything else is good. Join Alliance forces at inactive gate. So not this one. And actually, where are we? Morning Star 3, right. Entering Did system. Heretics end. Attention! Denizens of Heretics end! Please evacuate the designated area immediately! I should probably slow down at least. What's going on? Sir, we are picking up an unusually high energy signature. It seems like a Terran. Welcome back. Uh, me. There we go. It worked. I made the jump. Sure did. Sure did. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Excuse me, traveler. Did you hear the Alliance broadcast? I wonder. Would you be interested in collaborating with one of the greatest scientific minds of our time? I am Bozo Tar. As far as I am aware, I am the only bore on this side of the network schism. I am currently in the market for some personal assistance. Should you be interested, please do come for a face-to-face -face chat. When you have time, of course. I don't feel like I have time right now, but this is the personal HQ. station. Which is pretty cool that it just pops in like that. And disrupts your everything, basically. Uh, but that means you're here at Heretic's End. Which is a little um, worrisome, but uh, oh well. Um, I'll dock. I'll just dock. Oh, this is gonna potentially hurt. I do not have um, docking granted. Oh, that's nice. That was exactly what I was about to ask. But I don't have a docking computer, so we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Ah, uh, wait. There we go. Successfully docked. Thank you. Welcome aboard the mystery installation. I do apologize for the mess, 
I only recently escaped my spent captors. Can you believe they forced me to develop weapons? Anyway, yes. I have not yet had sufficient opportunity to undertake much housekeeping. Best not to dwell on the past. All is well now. The installation seems vaguely to be of Terran origin. But it is certainly no run-of-the-mill station. It is equipped with uncommonly advanced research facilities. Frankly, I am rather longing to lose myself in the lab and focus wholly on science. This brings me to a business matter. I require someone to oversee the mundane aspects of base operations. I will be far too preoccupied with my important work. Might this be a suitable and rewarding use of your skills? No need to answer. Of course it is. I have transferred the station to you. I trust you will make good use of it. When you are not otherwise engaged, please do pop down to see me. I am sure there will be bits of bobs that you may be able to help me with regarding my research. When you are ready, of course, you have a new station to grapple with. Yes, that sounds like a... Oh, and that gave me 10,000 credits as well. All right then. But for now, I have a mission to do. So, let's get to it. Activating the travel drive inside a dock might not be the most kind thing. Probably very rude, in fact, but, uh, oh well. Uh, but, uh, no, there. And we have a couple of extra things just unlocked already. Profit Center Alpha, good. Trinity Sanctum, yeah. All right. Feels like the headquarters is just... Hello. That's a good sign. Also, try not to die on the way there. Activating scanner. Accessing nacelle. Data stream is initialized. Um, uh, uh, it looks like good job. Skip. Intervention core. Get away with that. Jump gate. First come, Unknown first serve. Sector. And in we go. 
entering system. Watchful gaze. Nice view. Preliminary scans indicate that this system is uninhabited. No sign of boron or any other kind of life, biological or artificial. This cannot be true. Are you certain that the sensors are not malfunctioning? It has been so long. I really thought this might be the day I finally reconnect with my kin of the Finn. Take heart, Boron Exile. You may yet be a step closer to your reunion. Explore. We need some detailed system mapping. The task is in your hands. There is much to learn here. All right. Explore. Newly reconnected system. I keep trying to read that as a retcon system, but, uh... Well, I'm gonna try to read it correctly. Uh, maybe... Whoa! Long-range scanners. R. And ping. have a lot of asteroids, but that's basically it. Ah, hello. Very uninhabited system otherwise. Unknown object. Really? Data has identified some points of potential interest. We are having trouble logging on to exact locations at this range. See if you can pinpoint them for us. Yep, yep. Working on it. Empty space. Also. Oh, well. Jump gate. Unknown sector. That's fine. Can I. Oh. Hello. Someone from beyond our realm. Surely this indicates that our reports are correct. The one storm in gate has indeed resumed its function and brought our province into alignment with our erstwhile allies. You must realize what this means. All the resources of the Commonwealth are now within reach. At long last, a chance to end the shortages. Pick up the pace. Right, right. Sturgeon. They're an aquatic species, so they need a lot of water. And uh maybe Empty they didn't space. have any of that in their well, the system they were in or sector. Hmm. Well, let's get over here first. Oh, there was something I was trying to do. Yes. There we go. Yeah. Otherwise, everything is very sluggish. All right. So control space to just kind of coast along at your current speed. But maybe you can change your heading like Yeah, we're just drifting now. Very cool. Is there even anything there? Well, maybe there is. Unknown object. Looks like a ship. Oh my! Could that be? By the Trinity, a boron vessel. My instinct says we should take a closer look. Yeah. 
My instinct says it's pretty dead. But, uh, yeah. Um, hello? Discoverer, Vanguard. I should have gotten a lot closer. In fact, let's get back. Try to almost dock with it. Your ship's senses are picking up a weak energy signature amongst the debris. Docking granted. Oh, well, that works. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Somewhere here? No. Seems to be over here. This is huge. Yes, yes, I think you're right. Yeah. See if you can repair the panel to gain access. It's still really big, though. Uh-huh. Seems to be over here somewhere. Nope. Please don't hit anything. Thank you. Wait. Is it just on the other side of the thing? I hope I have a teleporter. Wait, hold on here. Yes. Ow. Come on. Wasn't that close. Nope, that doesn't seem to be it either. Really? Really? That doesn't seem to be part of the thing. Let's see. Oh. Derelict ship. That could have killed me. Just opening could have killed me, yes. Container. I just, uh, Running decryption I do. And reconstruction algorithm. The data is woefully incomplete, but it appears that this was an outpost of some manner. There are signs of an attack from several directions. It seems that the operators would have had little, if any, time to react. How frustratingly peculiar. I am forwarding all of this to our esteemed expedition commander. Perhaps he can garner more clues. I have my doubts, though. Yeah, this, uh, this ship is pretty... Comment, sir. Our team confirms that the Heretic's End Gate does indeed contain the coordinates to the Kingdom End system. 
The timing cannot be coincidental, can it? Just after we received word from the Boron? Is it possible that their experiments were somehow related to the gate reinitialization? Coordinates and timing are relevant, but not conclusive. The fact of the matter is that this is definitely not Kingdom End. Oh, no. Interstellar messenger drones are not the fastest form of communication. We do not know what has occurred on the Boron side since their last message. Theoretically, a connection between the two gates is possible, but that is just a theory. It could well be that the systems were linked in the distant past. Yes. Unfortunately, a theoretical compatibility does not mean much in itself. If activating or reprogramming these gates were easy, I'm certain I would have overcome the challenges long ago. The split didn't exactly give you a choice over your research focus. Could this be the Boron? Could they really have unlocked jump gate technology? Perhaps. Perhaps not. At this point, any further hypothesis would be mere speculation. Until we have more evidence, keep your ideas off general comms. If you must elaborate your theories, feel free to put them in writing. Sounds like a plan. But, uh... Hold on. Oh. I think I am picking up. Oh no. Never mind that. Nothing of interest here. This system's peculiar conditions make getting accurate readings rather troublesome. What are you? Guess you possibly were nothing? You have an unidentified ship on an intercept trajectory. This is our first contact in the newly opened network. We have no idea of who they are, or their intentions. Investigate, and if possible, make contact, but maintain vigilance. Ah. But... Unknown fine. Ship. Oh, wow. Out of range, kind of. I feel like maybe I jumped the gun a little bit by going to the, uh, the other gate first. You're supposed to be a little bit in oh, the dark. Hi. Aliens! Please, do not be afraid. I shall disengage my armament. Greetings. I am so pleased to make your acquaintance. Incredible. Finally. Contact with our aquatic allies. Bosota, are you receiving this? One moment, please. I am just finishing up some calculations. What did you say? A boron? Truly? A living, buoyant boron? Are my ocular sensor organs deceiving me? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Bozo Tar, and I can barely recall another Boron face. I have been riven from my people for that long. Will you please deign to share your time with me? I am Leela T, adventurer extraordinaire. I would be delighted to spend time with you. As appointed delegate of the Alliance of the Word, please allow me to extend my greetings to you and your people. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Mila T. I do not have any official capacity as such, but it is marvelous to be seeing actual people from beyond the disconnected gate. How did you get here? Has a gate reopened? Are we connected once more? Oh, I knew it would have to happen eventually. What joyous news! Momentous news indeed. Although we are less than clear on how this has occurred. There was speculation that the Boron triggered the gate reinitialization. Messages from your scientists indicated that they were working on such a task. Please, can you direct us towards Kingdom End? You were in contact with Kingdom End? That is marvelous news! It has been decades since we were cut off. We have heard nothing in all that time. The severing of the connection with Nishala has been indescribably distressing for all of us. 
My system is in profound turmoil. I... I... To meet a fellow Boron after all these years is an incandescent joy. But to find that you, too, are cut off from the homeworld is a misery. More than you know, Bosotar. We have all mourned this loss. But without access to Kingdom End, your Queen and Parliament, how do you govern yourselves? After the severance, there was a period of chaos, until a royal steward was appointed. I have had dealings with him. It would be my pleasure to make an introduction. We must make haste. There is much to be discussed with your leadership. Follow me, you cavaclade of curious creatures. A born society not headed by a queen? This is somewhat hard to fathom. Indeed, Bosotar. From your own experience, you understand the pain of separation. I doubt other species appreciate the biological depth of our harmonious societal interconnection. It was worse than it is now. It used to be that all our systems were isolated. Severed, not just from Kingdom End, the Queen and Homeworld Nishla, but also from each other. Fortunately, several of our systems reconnected to each other eventually, but none received word from home. Reorganization became a necessity. The provinces adrift, as we call ourselves, were only ever intended to be temporary. But under the royal steward, it has grown into a comprehensive governing body. But some of us have never given up on Kingdom End. Your communication with the homeworld is momentous in the extreme. Not a soul in these systems has found evidence of where the Kingdom End even still exists. Hmm, why would they worry about it even existing anymore? Like, just because, well, I don't know. I figure just because the gates disconnect doesn't mean that the other system is just, you know, gone. And I think, well, no. I don't think we can travel past light speed. Oh, thank you, autopilot. That does help immensely. Why? There we go. That should... No, nope, no, nope, it didn't. This thing was not close. Just saying. Right, there we go. Anyway... Uh, we have jump drives, but I think... I don't actually know how jump drives work. In, in fact... Now that I think about it, I don't know that we have jump drives in X4. Maybe that's something we only had in X3. And, again, it's possible those were somehow tied to the gate network anyway. So maybe they... Whatever disrupted the gate networks may have also disrupted the jump drives. I don't know about that part of the lore. If you will. There we go. Entering Hello. system, barren shores. That is also an ominous name. Mila T, you bring us guests, outsiders, with a fleet no less. What have you been up to? More than that, Royal Steward, I bring momentous news. The fleet, this paranid led fleet, it came from the dormant gate in watchful gaze. They have communicated with Kingdom End. They have no Kingdom End gate, but they have communication. We are connected to the network once more. My word, the if. The delegation seeks an audience. May I? Yes, yes, of course. There is so much to discuss, so much to consider. Royal Steward, would it be in order for me to accompany the delegation? I am sure you have other things to do. Diplomacy is not the same thrill as exploration. Please, Royal Steward, with your permission. Of course, Neelity. 
By all means, accompany the delegation. Explore. You have displayed some usefulness thus far. Thank you. I'm tasking you with joining us in meeting the royal steward. I may have need of your insights. I mean, I'm a rookie you here, but... made an impression on the expedition commander. I sense you are becoming more central to his plans. Join the delegation. Watch this royal steward. I have some experiments to attend to, though I shall keep an eye on you. Sounds like a plan for now, but that's going to have to be next episode. I love the design of their ships. Yeah, but anyway, with all of that chaos, uh, well, not quite over, certainly, but uh, wait, hold on, that's... That's... Well, not quite the Big Dipper, I guess, but very close to it. Anyway, with all of that said and done, ladies, gentlemen, and you beautiful in-betweens, I've been Computer. This has been X4 Kingdom End. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll tune in next time.